Okay, so yesterday I was showing you double plug things. Well, I was actually talking to a certain YouTuber today. You probably know who you are because you're probably watching this video, but okay. Right, so I said to her about these plugs I make the uh, wire, mattress box, and a plug top. Quite simple. However, I'm going to do a little bit of spurs. I'll show you the basis of how to make one of these, and I will do a full tutorial on this at some point but not now at the moment i've got a rig up so i've got a single plug here and i have a plug top this one's a crabtree series 3000 in case you'll know so i'm going to mount that plug top on here however i'm going to spur from that double socket still going on the same plug top so i'm going to show you a little bit about how i do that first off in my case i need to drill through here on the cabinet or through to go up in your end it might be an extension it might be whatever but i need to draw through there so give me a second okay so here's got my hole through here's the thing the thing itself so i'm gonna spur off the back off i'm gonna daisy chain basically piggyback off this and yeah i'm gonna do first off i'm gonna strip that wire and attach the crab tree plug to it okay so here we are at the single plug side it can be a single or double your wiring however Quickly, this symbol is an earth symbol. Some plugs it says E, sometimes it's a symbol. In this case, it's the earth symbol, which you get for Google. The neutral is the blue, the N, and the brown is the live. Now, all that's left to do is pull this wire through and to retrofit this plug. Well, not really retrofit, just screw this plug to the thing and the earth come out. So, I'm going to reattach that. But that's the diagram for the wiring. Now that my electrical connections are done, I can now screw this to the wall. Bear in mind, don't use any wood screws. Use the flat electrical screws that will come with your new single or double plug. So let's get this on. Okay, so now the plug's on the wall. It's made by Crabtree. And made by Crabtree, Series 3000. It looks like a proper plug on the wall. However, it's going to be powered by a 13 amp plug top. Yes, it will work but there's no power so there's no power going through the unit so let let me show you how to hook this up to a to a power port so at this point we have our single plug here we have our three pieces of wire green blue and brown here's the socket that i'm hacking into to get into this this is the one that i'll be piggybacking power off so let's get this one undone Okay, so here I am behind the socket. This one is made by Snyder Electric DC, but this was Snyder Electric, but that's just their range. It will work with any socket, but you have the your three ports. You have your earth, neutral, live. Now it's quite straightforward. You have to match these colours up to here and then use that same terminals. So blue for neutral, brown for live, and green and yellow for earth. However, there's a patch of spots here. And if you were to do that, it wouldn't close properly. So, there's a step you need to undertake. Down the side here, you have breakout plugs, which are designed for breaking out new sockets. If you want to expand any wire, the way I tend to go in is simply with a hammer or something gentle. Just be gentle, guys. And I know it doesn't seem like it, but I'm going to go off camera too. Okay, so there also, I just want to say, there's been some videos on YouTube that have been rather dangerous. I think it's like how to extend an extension lead wire or something. But what he did wrong, he used two core wire. Basically, he was connecting the brown and the blue. Well, that does work. It's not safe because the earth is the protection. If I was to plug this in now, it would turn on. The electric would go through, obviously this one will be off, but this one wouldn't be. And here's the risk. You put this in here and you'll get an error. You get the missing earth error. You may think, oh, this is fine. But if there was something that was going to prevent you from getting an electric shock, if the earth wasn't present, you could potentially get an electric shock and die. That is why you must use free core electrical wire that's rated for the load that you need. The power is on at this point, I don't recommend doing it, I know not to touch it, but do it at your own risk, this is done all at your own risk, this is. So what you need is a Patris box, some free core electrical wire, and a single or double socket, and a single patch box or a double patch box, 
and a single socket and a double flex rod, depends what you make. I tend to make these for panel mounts, e.g. the wall. I make them to mount them onto the wall because it's more productive, it's more useful. And as you can see, that is off to the back of the socket, and this will be the same in a plug top. You would just have to wire, you at the end of your free coil wire, to a plug top. Which you would have to do anyway, to get this, to make this circuit, whether it's warm out or not, you would have to wire the wire to a diagram, a plug wiring diagram, into the socket with the earth and a 13 amp fuse is required. So let me screw this back together and then we'll show you it. Okay, so now you have your plug top, your wire, and your double socket. Now you have your spur X in from this side, well, this is a little bit wobbly. Need to reposition that at some point, but not today. But it's on there for now. You have your entry from the mains and your exit to your next plug. Now this is a socket tester and correct. Go down to your single, which is metal, or double, whatever you choose to use, and the wiring conditions are correct. Meaning this socket is safe to use. And that is how you make a spur off a extension. That is how you make a custom extension made. Your specifications, as many plugs you want, considering you don't exceed the 13 amp limit, you'll be fine.